Hi guys, it's Cara from the Queen of Lean and today I'm going to run you through the technique for how to do a conventional deadlift. There's a number of different variations of the deadlift but you have the two main uh, lifts which is your sumo deadlift and your conventional deadlift which is the one we're going to run through the technique for today. Now in terms of each individual person's um, setup and what it looks like, it's going to vary quite differently depending on the person's biomechanics. So whether they have a longer femur length in relation to their torso, vice versa or whether their tibia is longer um, compared to their femur and again vice versa. Um, so everyone's setup is going to look differently, however we're going to run you through the basics for how to begin the conventional deadlift. So I'm going to get our coach Kim to demonstrate some reps for us. She's going to set up under the bar so her shoelaces are under the barbell. She's going to push her shins into the bar and drive her hips back, so she's hinging at the hips, getting a good stretch through her hamstrings, coming down to grip the bar. Before she lifts the movement, she wants to brace as hard as she can. So she's going to push her or breathe her um, stomach into her thighs, pull her shoulders down and pull the slack out of the bar and sitting back and lifting, driving the hips through. She's going to come down following the same path that she had coming up, keeping as much tightness as she can. So what she's aiming to do, you can see she's pulling her shoulder blades down into her pockets nice and hard to create tightness through her lats and that's what we call pulling the slack out of the bar. So she's creating as much tension as she can through her upper back or up her upper body before she lifts the weight. Just going to do one more, driving up and then she's going to bring the bar down. Now we're going to do, we're going to spin the bar around as well Kim to show you guys what the setup looks like from the side. She's going to do the same thing, bringing her feet under the bar, pushing her shins into the bar and driving her hips back to grip. She's going to pull the slack out and you can see that now her shoulder's in line with her grip. She's going to pull against the bar and drive her hips through. You'll also notice that at the top, her shoulders are rounded slightly, which is okay to do. It's just going to create more tension and tightness through your upper body and through her lats, as long as she's squeezing that muscle hard and she's squeezing the bar, pulling it apart. Following the same path on the way down. And we'll go for one more rep. Coming down controlled, and she's going to relax and rest at the bottom. Another thing to mention during the deadlift or during any type of big movement is that she wants to um, make sure that she's bracing hard enough. So what that means is that when she's setting up, she's going to think about engaging through her pelvic floor. So it's almost like she's doing a bit of a zip from her pelvis right up in towards her ribs. She's shortening the distance between her pelvis and her ribs. She's going to think about um, if she really needs to go to the bathroom, she's going to hold it in and then she's going to use her, um, her six pack or her abs to push out and brace hard. So you can see that Kim's locking down, she's got as much tension as she can through the abs and she would do this right before she was about to lift the bar. So that's why we go back to that cue when I was saying um, she's going to breathe her um, stomach into her thighs. It's just going to create a little bit more feedback for her to know that she's bracing and creating as much tension as she can. So that is the basic technique for how to do a conventional deadlift. Uh, it's going to help strengthen through your posterior chain, so your glutes, your hamstrings, your upper back and your lower back and of course as we said before through your abs. So we hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one.